Hey guys, Jess from Knockout Print Shop. I'm gonna do another plan with me. I'm on a roll, two weeks in a row. I still have a pretty janky setup here to do these plan with me. So this should be interesting trying to write in my planner if you could see how this looked. So this is the week of July 9th. And yeah, I'm still really not in a groove with my planner. Ever since I closed my gym back at the end of April, so we're talking May, June, we're in July now. I just haven't been able to get into a routine with it. I think after having my routine owning my gym for you know, almost seven years, it's hard to get in a new routine without having that structure. So as you guys know, I'm only doing the print shop now, which is awesome, but it's just taking a while for me to make a weekly plan, planner layout that works, or that just feels consistent. I don't know, I'm kind of all over the place. That's pretty much my life right now. Okay, so, okay, I thought I was all situated with what I wanted to do, and I thought I had all my stickers. I even took time before I started the SKIA setup to make sure I had them all, and now I realize I don't have one of the headers that I wanted. I wanted these in today. Okay, whatever. We're going to go for two different kinds of headers, you guys. We're living on the edge. So let's go, since I have yellow and pink left, let's go with the uh, yellow. So let's see how I, if you could see what I'm doing. So I have like my phone attached to this like Joby or something tripod thing, which is wrapped around one of my chair legs. And I'm trying to, it's just, Comical. Let's just put it that way. I can't even describe it. I need to like take a picture of it and you guys will be like, how the hell is she even doing this? So I'm sure my voice is like super loud right now because I'm leaning forward towards my phone to put these stickers down. And then as soon as I kind of like move back, my anyways, holy rambling. Okay. So yeah, I can't do this one handed. Who am I kidding? Oh Lord. That's even worse guys. Okay, the struggle is real, thank goodness, for removable stickers. Okay, so we got that. So we use the flags for the today. I'm keeping my structure of like keeping a time-sensitive things up here, which is kind of stupid because I don't really have anything going on. So like last week I had nothing time-sensitive, so I just put like our dog walks up there. So I think this format is not going to work going forward just based on kind of how my day or my schedule is. So we got the to-dos. You know what, let's just go with the light pink. I don't love light pink, but in, in lieu of not being wasteful, let's go through this sheet, why don't we? So let's see, let's come down here. And I'm barely gonna give any, oh, I'll go like, I'll go here. I'm not gonna give tons of space for this sticker because, or sorry, between for the today section, because again, like I was saying, I don't really have like sketch, schedule based things. I really think I have to have some patience and realize that after seven years of owning a gym and having a more structured schedule and going to this work from home schedule, I can't expect that in a period of just a few months, closing my gym, selling my house and moving to another state that I'm going to have some miraculous daily, weekly plan that's going to work perfect. So I have to be realistic. Okay, so we got, we're using the flag headers. I personally am not as big of a planner, a flag header as a classic header. This is usually more my jam, but again, we're trying not to be wasteful, so we used these. Okay, so let's put up, just for decorative purposes, a weekend flag, I'll do the yellow guy. Let's see here. So Matt was gonna help me set up the other camera and tripod, and I told him not to worry about it because he had plans. Note to self. Take his help next time so we got that up all right so now I kind of want to try something different so I'm not this is my like note of few things I need to make sure to put down here I'm not usually somebody that puts my menu plan in my planner but I was thinking maybe I should do that because why not so this is usually because it's kind of beat up because we keep this we use our menu planner inserts and we'll just take them out of my three ring or my six ring binder and put them in our like recipe binder in our kitchen. So anyways, this is the rough outline that we had for this week. So I think what I'm gonna do actually is I know I pulled those 
I think I'm gonna put the menu planner on. No, 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 I wasn't gonna use these. I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna use down here, uh, these guys. So I'm gonna use these and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna indicate breakfast, lunch, dinner. So if you've never watched my how to use your planner for health and fitness, watch that and I kind of go over why I'm a huge proponent of three to four meals a day, no snacks. But anyways, not to get on a 30 minute conversation. Um, I'm gonna use these little guys to kind of indicate. So what are we using, yellow? So I'm just gonna write this way, B, L, D. And I am going to attempt to put this in here. And I'm gonna use every day. I'm not gonna repeat these stickers every single day, but I'm gonna just kind of use that to remind me that's what these spaces are for. Sorry if I just hit the tripod situation. So I'm gonna use that to represent breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I could do it again, oh, what the hell, might as well. We'll do it again here, B, O, D. I'm all about functionality and finding ways to make different stickers work. Um, so don't feel like you always have to buy something that's specifically designed for the tasks you need it for. There's always ways to use the stuff you have or other stuff that my shop or other shops have to work for you because sometimes you like I know people want really specific custom things and it, you know we won't be able to do it because it's not something that is going to take a lot of design time or whatever but don't get defeated there's are ways to do stuff with things that you already have that'll probably work sometimes even better than having a super custom sticker um, okay so I brought this in here just to show you guys let's see <laughs> Okay, so we have our breakfast. I, I usually do write breakfast too, even if it's the same, but um, we're gonna do um, breakfast sandwiches. So we had already planned that for every single day when we were making this meal plan. Um, so we didn't write it down, but usually we do even if it's redundant. So then we know we have burgers left for two days. This is not my best handwriting, you guys. It's kind of crappy. Uh, and then I know we have a steak dinner left. And then I know we have another burger and a stir fry, it looks like. Right? Okay, so we already had this, we had this, and we had this. So I wrote down this, we have another burger, and we have a stir fry. So we'll do burgers for lunch. If you guys ever want me to do a video on like my diet philosophy, my eating philosophy, I would be happy to do that. Um, it's probably different than a lot of people and mainstream stuff that you have heard, read, followed. So if you are curious, my thoughts on eating, if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can do a video on it. Okay, so we're gonna do that. That's how far, what Matt and I have been doing lately is I'm trying to go grocery shopping twice a week. That way we are able to get things that are fresher. We don't have to plan as far ahead, stuff like that. So we try to get like, I wanna say four days at a time. So if this all works out as planned, we should be, we should have enough for another breakfast so that we should be able to go to the farmer's market on Wednesday. So we're gonna throw, oh, so this is good you guys. I like this idea of using down here for something else. Because I used to break this up where this was appointment-based stuff, this was my running to-do list, and this was personal, like grocery shopping, blah, blah, blah. But maybe what I could do is use my top section now, sorry, hit the tripod situation again, for, um, oh my God, I did it again, for four tasks. So, dur, 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 let's see. So we're going to put, oh my God, you know what? I need more space since I decided to do that. This is going to be a cluster, people. Okay, we're going to the halfway point, and we're gonna have to go and remove all of these stickers, but for right now, let's just keep it real with this. Okay, so I'm reaching over here for all my word stickers. So we got, first thing that Matt and I will need to do is meal plan, and then we'll hit the farmer's market. Okay, that's kind of cool because I don't usually put stickers way up here. So now, <laughs> we have to go put these here. Oh my god, I'm going to ruin the little nubs on these flags, hardcore. So please let me know, guys, if you are like, just get your camera situation together. These are horrible playing with me. I can hear you breathing into the phone, because I don't know about you, but that's like 
nails on a chalkboard to me, so I'm trying to not be too breathy when I'm close to the phone. <laughs> Recording. Okay, that's gonna have to work for now. All right, so we're just saying meal plan farmers work. I'm not even gonna use the grocery the grocery shopping one because honestly, we have been doing so much farmers marketing. Now that's a verb that I don't really. And we do go to the grocery store, but we're just gonna use that as a catch-all right now. Um, let's see here. Do I need any of these? Do laundry, garbage day. I think we're okay on this for right now. I'll put those off to the side. Okay, so the other thing I need to grab, I think it's in this pile. Try to get these all organized. Um, is for our dog walk. So we've been taking the dogs for a walk on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So I like to use this guy for that. And then once we take the walk, I write in the distance. And if you follow me on my personal Instagram, you see little videos of my little senior beagle in his little doggy wheelchair. And it's super cute and he loves it and he's doing awesome. And that's the wrong day. Oh my God. Okay. Let's try this again. Here we go, people. All right. Most likely we'll take them on Saturday too. This week, Saturday, it rained here, so we took them today, which is Sunday I'm filming this, but we'll plan on making it. Oh my God, I hit it again. Sorry, you guys. Okay, so we got that. All right, the other thing we're gonna need to put down is when I film my plan with me. So let me see here. I'm gonna use one of these, I think. So if we put down this, I like to layer stickers a ton. So if we go, and I can always move this. I just happen to be filming this on Saturday, or sorry, Sunday. Where's my icons? So I like to layer boxes with icons. Just bring attention to a task and I don't have to have a specific sticker for it. Film plan with me. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna mark this off my list. If you used to watch my other plan with me back in the day when I owned my gym, I'd have a list so much longer than this. It's so, this is such an adjustment, guys. Um, okay, so the other thing I need to make sure that I do that's mandatory is on Monday, um, that's gonna go down here, is I need to write programs for my two clients. So, let me see here what I want to use for that. Uh, all right, we're just going to use a box, I think. Here, we'll use this. We're going to use a regular box. How about that? I lost my pen. Okay, so I need to write uh, Lizzie and Josh's program. So even though I closed my gym, I'm sure I've said this in previous videos, I still do some online coaching. Oh shoot, I should have done this in yellow. <sighs> Doing it over again. Um, even though I closed my gym, I do, for a few of my old clients, um, I still write them programs and meet with them on FaceTime. Um, and it's been really fun. It's a fun way to help my my clients keep kicking butt, getting strong, doing programs that they're used to and they see success with. So that's like my main thing I need to do on for that end of life on Monday. Oh, poop. I forgot I was going to do this different. Sorry, guys. I just remembered a way I was going to. See, this is a problem is I don't have a I don't have a structure. So I'm all over the place. Okay, so I was gonna take these. These are like my new favorite stickers. And I'm gonna put these on. I like this because what I've been trying to do is like pick three things a day. Like I'm trying to be less about quantity and more about quality on my to-do list because I'm realizing that since my like, oh my God, it's crooked, I don't even care. Um, since my lifestyle has changed, I can't, like, I'm not just super duper to-do list anymore. So things are different. I'm adjusting. I'm trying to find a way that works. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I don't know. Have any of you ever gone through a time where you had, like, a certain lifestyle, a certain kind of career, or maybe you were in school and then you graduated? It's just an interesting thing. And I think I'm, I have a tendency to be an overachiever and put a lot of pressure on myself to 
have this figured out, but then the like life coachy therapist person in me knows this is going to take time. You have this, you know, structure for how long and now it's different. So be patient. So, okay. So basically I use this for my like top three tasks and I try to kind of go, okay, if you don't get anything else done when it comes to work, what are the three things? And then like leave it be and not have to get inundated with like just busy work tasks. Um, okay, so I have right that, um, probably, so I know on Tuesday, because I'll be giving Lizzie and Josh their program, that I'm going to have to do a FaceTime meeting with them. So what I'll probably do is, let's see, do I have pink in that? Yeah. So I'm going to do meeting. I don't know what time it'll be at. But with Josh and Lizzie, um, I'm guessing this will be Tuesday once they... Oh, I'm, oh my god, you guys, I wrote it on the book already! All oh, the wasted stickers. Meeting at... And that's Josh and Lizzie. So, like I said, I write their program, I give them their program. They like to do their program on their own that first day. And then we meet on FaceTime after they're done training and go over everything for their three-day week program and I look at their form and have them demo stuff and I demo stuff it's quite an interesting fun time okay so I've wasted so many stickers all right so I also need to check in with my other two people so I just need like a little reminder for that so maybe what we'll use for that okay let's see here Where are my, I'm looking for those bullet journal heck over there. Okay, so I need to check in with um, my other two clients. So I think what I'm gonna do there is just put a little, this guy, and then just write check in with Karen and Anna. And then as soon as I do that, check it off my list. Um, okay, so we have that. I like using these. I like writing on the planner, so I like to use these. I don't typically write on stickers as much, like big ones like this. But anyway, so I'm doing that, so check in with them. Um, and then I do need to schedule, I wrote a blog post for you guys on um, tracking expenses, and I need to send that out. So I'm thinking that will go out, if this goes out first, Maybe I'll send it out on Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh, oh, oh. So maybe, maybe, oh my God, I hate this thing. I, are you guys ready to kill me yet? Okay, so let's go send out, I'm just put the dollar sign, blog, email. And I think after I'm done filming the plan with you guys, I'm going to film a video about the expense tracking and put it in the blog because I know some of you prefer videos. Most of you prefer videos over blog, which I understand. Okay, so we got that. Um, so that's like what's on this list here. I need to buy salt. So I don't know if I want that on here, but okay. Well, this is what we got. So we got meal down here. We got daily tasks up here. We got to-dos here. Oh, I know what I was going to do. I usually don't put my workouts down, but I think I'm going to get into a habit of doing that again. Um, just to kind of use up space and try to find a groove with my planner and my life. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm starting a new program this week. So I'm going to put day, oh my God, I wrote it on the wrong color again. Day one, week one. So my workouts, writing them down are kind of boring because I follow a four week program where I have three different workouts a week. Um, I do it every other day, and I do that same um, program for four weeks, and then I change it. So basically when I do track workouts, all I do is put like day one, week one, day two, week one, day three, week one. It just is a little bit of a way to kind of like track what I'm doing and know what week I'm on. Like I know because I have a training log, but you know, I just do stickers. Okay. So we got that. So this is workout. This is life stuff. Things will get added in here, doing laundry, different things. But for right now, this seems good. I know there's a few other things I wanted to use. So I do want to use these because they're the cutest sticker ever. 
So we'll do time to plan on Sunday. I love that sticker. Okay, I love these too. We tried to create these as a header because I love this style, but it just doesn't work. It looks so stupid, you guys. So we had to nix the idea. Um, but what I'll do here, I think, is use this and cover this up. I like having a side, uh, the sidebar here to do this. Oh, you know, before I put this down, hold on, I just one thing. I'm going to put a habit tracker right here first. And I'll tell you why in a second. And then I think we'll put this. Okay, so something I like to have running to-do list for this week and next week. Like, this is a good place for me to put that thing I needed to, like, buy salt. Um, I don't necessarily need to put that on a day, but... And then I'll put, like, a little, like, one of these hexagons here. And then as things come up during the week, I'm like, oh, I need to do that next week. That's what we'll do here. Okay, so then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. So I started following this blog. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her, Clean Mama. I think it's cleanmama.net. And she's got this really like simplified way to approach her daily and weekly cleaning. So she has like her five daily cleaning tasks, which are wipe all your counters, um, make your bed, do a load of laundry. Oh my God, I can't remember the other two, which is going to defeat the whole purpose of this. Anyways, there's five daily cleaning tasks. Um, I think it was check floors, like sweep up little bits of stuff. So I'm going to start tracking that. So I wanted to do that. I don't do all of them. Like for me and Matt, if we did laundry every day, we'd be putting like a pair of underwear in every day. Um, make bed is good for us. Wipe counters works for us. And this just helps kind of like not have to have like a massive cleaning day. And then what she does on top of that, so she has like these five daily tasks that are really quick ones just to kind of tidy up. And then she has a task designated for every day, like Monday is do your bathrooms, Tuesday is, I think, vacuum, Wednesday is floors. I can't remember all of them, but check out cleaning, cleanmama.net. It's cool. And by the time I get this all routine, I'll be able to talk about it more eloquently. But until then... I've been trying to haphazardly do this, but I think having this little checklist will help. Obviously, I need to look back at her blog to see what the other tasks were. Okay, so that's that. And then I was going to use this because I bought some new sourdough starter, water kefir, and kombucha starters from Cultures for Health. Um, but I haven't gotten a shipping label yet, so I can't stick this in because I don't know what's coming. But I will be using that. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, and I didn't leave space for this... I wanted to track some of my daily digestive symptoms. I've been, I've been, my nutrition is like, I eat very well and, you know, I live a pretty healthy lifestyle, but I have um, some digestive issues and I'm like totally in denial that it's coffee. It is coffee, you guys, let's be real. But um, I'm going to try to not drink coffee this week and see what happens. Even saying that out loud sucks. So I was going to try to leave a spot to to like notate that but I don't have any room because I'm using this for my meal plan I don't know I'm gonna report back I'm gonna have to try to do that maybe here and like kind of indicate these as Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday or maybe I can put like an emoji or an indicator or symbol in here to indicate how I felt each morning or if I had the coffee, put the coffee icon, like if I cheat and I like have coffee, put that in there. I don't know. I need something other than coffee. But every time I try something other than coffee, it doesn't work. So wish me luck. We're going to try it this week and see how if it helps my digestive system. Um, okay, so anyways, this is where we're at, guys. I don't know. Has anybody gone through what I'm going through? Where you're trying to, ch your lifestyle's changed and you just don't have a good structure going yet. So here was last week. Used the yellow again and a little darker pink. But you can see, like, I actually got did a lot of things. It just feels so bare. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. I did have some of our new stickers that I was going to show you. And where did I put those? Well, we have Debt Snowball. So this guy is awesome. Uh, if you guys are trying to achieve financial freedom, you're going to want this. If you're not in doing Dave uh, Ramsey's debt snowball, you are missing out on opportunities to 
pay down that debt. But essentially how you'll want to use this is you write down your snowball amount that you're paying that month, what the debt is, let's say it's student loan or Chase or car or whatever, credit card, and then the remaining balance after your debt, a payment, your snowball payment, and just went, you know, check it off when you do it. The reason I made these is because I don't know about you guys, if you've, if you've done the debt snowball, um, because it's not an actual bill, sometimes it's hard to remember to do it. So it's nice to be like, put this on a day and say, do this, you know, okay, this week I'm paying my debt snowball. Um, I'll, I'll talk about this more in the expense tracker one. So we have that. And then I know I had, do I, did I put the gymnastics one somewhere? Well, we have a gymnastics one and I usually have everything new with me, but I don't clearly. Okay. So this is a hodgepodge video. It's 25 minutes. We're almost going on 26 minutes. Hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, let me know if you can relate to where I'm at. Let me know if you want me to do a video on like my style of eating and answer any questions about nutrition. And then, like I said, I'm going to film a video about our new expense tracker and debt stuff. So have a great week, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.